Hello fellow traders, welcome to another tutorial video, thank you very much for your support and for subscribing to my channel. Today we will dive to another technical analysis indicator, the ATR, the average true range. Uh, it was introduced by a trader, well actually he was a mechanic, uh, G. Will Wilder, in his book New Concepts of Technical Analysis, published in the end of 1970s. Uh, remember, why, I, why I'm mentioning that, it's the period. Uh, that we are starting to have some technology in trading information flows faster uh, we have some automations in calculating previous prices average true range true range of prices um, and uh, we are start to having more and more indicators as they start to appear it it was a consider a common knowledge back then but uh, since the automation and the information start to flow the, the author is considered the father of technical analysis software, indicators that RSI, ADI, the parabolic SAR, uh, that we have already analyzed all of them in my channel. The reason I'm making this introduction is just to give you the idea uh, and where we will move in today's video. The indicator measures the market volatility. By definition, average true range is just again a moving average and I will explain you uh, when we will analyze the formula, we are trying to show the true range of an entity we are trading. Of course, by mentioning true range, uh, we are putting the periods of 14. Um, keep in mind the indicator when we are talking about the 1970s, 1980s and uh, much earlier. Uh, it was made uh, to trade uh, commodities. Of course, uh, nowadays it became very popular. But the original indicator was using uh, to trade commodities. Of course, now you can find uh, this indicator in any platform. Uh, again, I don't want you to remember the formula, but every time that I'm showing you the formula, the reason that I do that is to show you exactly what is behind of an indicator that uh, we are calculating and how uh, we can find some flaws in this indicator. Also, I want I have told you one million times to be creative with your indicator. So uh, you can adjust the true range, the, the range of the indicator. Now, this is the formula. Of course, you don't have to remember it. It will automatically go to any, uh, it will plot automatically into any diagram. We measure again the extreme of an entity that we are trading. Uh, what we have here, first we need to calculate the true range. By, by true range, we mean the extreme of the prices that the entity has for a period of 14, of a period of uh, 24, if it's a day, become creative, don't think like rabbits. Now, the current period minus uh, the current period low, high minus clone of the current period. The ABC is the absolute value of the current period minus the previous period and the absolute value of the current period lows minus the previous period close. Uh, by combining, we have the true range. And in conclusion, our final result, we need the ATR. So ATR is nothing more than a moving average of a true range. Uh, you understand what is behind that. We are mentioning again about the moving average. And I have mentioned that also in my video. Uh, related to moving average, uh, this is uh, why for me it's the holy book of all indicators. It's determine what's a moving average. Uh, again, uh, you have you can try that in the in any price that you want in the typical price in the range of prices. This is up to you how you choose to become uh, creative with an indicator. But keep in mind that you should always pay attention on how other traders think and how uh, more serious, more big traders think when they are plotting these kind of indicators. Uh, they are checking on a period of 14 because I, I already explained you why 14. If we put it in daily, uh, 14 days behind, it's like uh, searching our uh, extreme prices movement on two weeks behind. Why two weeks and not three weeks? Why not a month? Why not a year? 
this these questions comes again and again uh, the purposes of this video is to understand uh, what is the true range of uh, an entity that we are trading uh, of course we will open some uh, real markets and i will give you some pros and cons about this indicator okay let's open to some real markets i uh, remember this uh, on initially was to uh, for commodities so i have plot uh, several eight year uh, eight year uh, it will look like the, this uh, i will use um the initial value of the indicator it's 14 but i want to become uh, i'm a bit obsessed with the uh, golden ratio numbers so i will use the values of five uh, instead of 14 i use 13 and just a bigger a value of 500 now the smaller the value of the indicator uh, the fastest and the choppier uh, the indicator will become because again it's an it's an atr is an average true range so based on the true range based on the uh, previous extremes uh, we have mm, this uh, chart below our real prices now how can we benefit from using the atr uh, i have said that in many videos i am against uh, indicators uh, i do not use them uh, so much so i do not base my trades on them now the the idea it's that we have some extreme uh, range at this point of this indicator of course uh, this is the 13th one the most popular arising from the 14th so uh, let me change the values to 14 you'll see that uh, not pretty much changed I will keep my 13 so at this point uh, the prices have uh, got in a very extreme uh, range based on the original indicator the 14 one so the prices are here as at its maximum it's 28.22 so this is a good point uh, to take a short position based on the indicator because the entity the s p that we are trading is got over into its extreme um and uh, of course you need to pay attention to this point uh, look what happened to the 5-1 and here i have opened a much bigger period of 500 now remember what we've said about the s p that's why i told you that you need to be creative uh, when you are trading um, by default we want the s p to go long uh, it's the the measurement of american economy so there is no reason to go uh, short on this index the the most powerful companies are there so if you want to use that uh, use the extremes of the indicator in your favor and try to search a long position uh, this will eliminate 50% uh, of your uh, trading don't have any bias uh, we discussed that i'm just showing you how to use uh, the correctly where there is no correct way but i want to show you how to be creative with your indicators and the values that it's behind that indicator now at this point uh, maybe it's a good point to take uh, a long position uh, because check where the average uh, true range has sky fi but what will happen if i scroll a little back in the past you see how the, the values has changed the higher has changed and uh, uh, you can check that uh, the extremes are changing and look the 500 one how much smoother our uh, 500 has become how we can use that on our favor uh the 500 one is smoother and we see that the market is trending very smoothly so here it comes the clue of the 500 of the biggest range now trust me if i change the value to 400 i i told you i don't want you to think like rabbits if you change the value to 400 you see that it's smooth again so the idea behind it is that we have a very nice uptrend uh, of course we have an uptrend we are talking about the s p now that don't start uh, that the the index will collapse and like whatever uh, we want to make profit if it collapses, it will get our stop losses we will lose one percent 
two percent. No one cares. We don't care. We just want to make profit. Be smart and trading. Uh, I have explained <laughs> many times. It's not so easy. So take. Um, be familiar with the loss. It doesn't matter if you lose. It's okay. Check my videos on losses. It doesn't matter. Uh, you need to have a, a strategy. Now let's go back in the indicator and understand the flaws of this indicator. Uh, check how the values are changing as I'm moving back. So um, even at this point, it gets the average true range on its highest. Uh, and you considering taking a short position, uh, you see that the prices doesn't move in your favor at all. And even at this point, thinking to going short again, thinking to going short again, <laughs> the prices keep shooting up. Um, and here we have that we have the smoother indicator, the 400 one in the values. Uh, we see that we have a, a continuation of an uptrend. Now I will change time frames. Uh, see what happens here. Now check uh, how we still uh, have that smooth line. We still have our uh, smooth ATR index. So we are keep still trending um, up because we are checking the S&P. Uh, now check, uh, check the volatility uh, and how the prices are changing at this point. We have 86 and 102. And this is the problem with the indicator um, that you cannot take into consideration uh, the average true range is just a range. Um, you can adjust uh, the values. You can uh, put some values by your own uh, because I already done here. Uh, if you check, I put the values of 90. It doesn't mean anything. I just I wanted to show you uh, as an example. So in your trading, um, when the average true range comes into an extreme, I will show you the. Um, I will go to the weekly. I will go to the COVID uh, and the lockdown because this is when the market collapsed. And check what it happened to the extremes. Check the prices, how they, uh, the average, the the average true range got spiked up. And um, someone that was ready to go long, of course, uh, <laughs> this is very easy to say when we are checking the past. Uh, uh, I was uh, short uh, on this period uh, to this index. Um, I got short and I lost the trade uh, in my real in my account that I'm using. I'm always using uh, the real account. I'm just mentioning the one that I'm using here. And I lost the trade. Uh, the market didn't move to the downside. This doesn't mean anything. Of course, I didn't. I don't care if I lose a trade. And now check the other extremes on the 90 side. Uh, these are just values. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. That's why I told you that uh, you need to be creative with your index and uh, play uh, with your values. Play with the 400, with 200, 300. Uh, it's just a range of volatility of the market. And uh, see now after COVID, uh, how the prices shoots up again. Uh, we have significantly our uh, range increase in value. And this, why, why is that? Because we are searching on the extremes of the 13 periods back. So it's normal when the prices jumps, uh, the indicator will jump also. It follows the prices. It cannot tell you uh, the future. It's another l uh, lagging indicator, but I show you how to use it in your favor and how uh, the prices will move on. And this is the same for this extreme. Now, uh, the 5 ATR, the fastest one, uh, coach uh, catch this uh, thing much easier, much better, if I could say. Uh, this is the reason that I'm using the value of 5. Uh, this is also a number. You can use the 5, the 8 one and the 13 one if you want to do it um, better and if you want to make your own tests and if you are ready but the basic idea the basic tutorial when every time i'm making a video like this one is to understand the mechanics behind the indicator how does this indicator works and how it measures the uh, average true range there is a range in the price there are some limitations when we are trading uh, for example when you are trading 
uh, some major currencies, th there are limits. Uh, th there are percentages that uh, it, it's very hard to trade only by using that. Uh, but but by knowing the average price, the average percentage of an entity that has moved, it's very good. The ATR uh, will help you uh, to understand the volatility that is coming in the market. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope it was not a big video. Again, uh, thank you very much for your support. I hope I'll see you in the future and uh, trade safe.